Richard Freeman left Worthing in 1894. For a few years, there's no trace of him. But before the end of the decade, he surfaces again, nearly 300 miles away in Hull. And he's married to his third wife, Martin's great-grandmother, Ada Meldrum. Back at his hotel, Martin is looking through the census records. I want to find out what brought him to Hull, what brought him to my great-grandmother, Ada. How do they uh, hook up? What I'm going to do is look up the 1901 census, which is the next one after he left in late 1894, um, and see if I can uh, find a match of him and Ada. But Richard Freeman, head of the family, he's 48 by now, he's a music teacher. Got Ada Louise. He's 28, so she's much younger. She's a music teacher as well. <sighs> and she's blind. How interesting. And two, and two sons. Philip and Richard was born in Hull. So I'm now getting up the 1911 census, 10 years on from the last one. Have we got here? So they got Philip from before, Richard, Mabel, who's three, Ada, who's two, Leonard, my grandfather, who's one, and Hilda, who's six months. There's there's a lot of Freemans, you know, from just from Richard. I've I, I, genuinely, I'm not being glib. I've actually lost count of his children now. The census also reveals something else about Richard and Ada's children. It says children born alive to present marriage. They've got 12 as the answer to that. 12 children born alive. Yeah, so they've lost six children. Six children have died. That's horrendous. The census reveals that by 1911, Richard and Ada were bringing up five of their own children, plus one, Philip, from Richard's first marriage to Fanny. But during their time together, Richard and Ada had also lost a total of six children. I'm immediately curious about the children who have died. Because even when people say, well, you know, there's a higher infant mortality rate, there's, just, there's no way that that can't kill you as a parent. To happen six times, that's going to be devastating. And then this birth certificate that they had a daughter mm. called Emily Cecilia. Cecilia, lovely. Well, Blind from birth. That's right, there's a special column in the census denoting somebody's disability. Right.